Here in northern Massachusetts, the second half of April is referred to, at least by a few of us, as Sparta Turtle Season. So I am going to spend the entire afternoon searching every square inch of this shrubby vernal pool looking for this handsome turtle. The Sparta Turtle is a relatively small turtle and only grows up to about four and a half inches. Aptly named, the spotted turtle usually has numerous bright yellow or orange spots that dot their blackish gray carapace and the tops of their heads. The number of spots can vary greatly between individuals, with even some having virtually no spots at all. The plastrons, along with their limbs and tail, is a mixture of orange and black. Spotted turtle ranges from Maine to the northern half of Florida and the upper Midwest and southeastern Canada. These turtles are considered semi-aquatic and inhabit a variety of wetlands, including vernal pools, shrubby swamps, marshes, wet meadows, bogs, and even woodland streams. Spotted turtles often migrate between bodies of water, becoming more terrestrial during the summer months as some of their seasonal wetlands dry up. Spotted turtles are omnivores consuming a variety of aquatic vegetation, green algae, insect larvae, worms, slugs, crustaceans, tadpoles, and salamanders. There's one going underneath this mat of moss. Oh, crap. Ah, it's so thick. See if I can, sometimes you can find it when they're just initially taking off. You can bump their shell with your feet. No, that's not it. Oh well. Uh, oh well. There'll be more. I mean, this almost feels like it's a needle in a haystack. But this is some of the uh, vegetation, this thick blueberry bush that they like to, to hide in. And underneath is this mat of moss. I'm always terrified that I'm going to break through this layer of moss. Like, a, like when I was a kid, I used to think that it was quicksand underneath. Nice, there's one. Not so hidden. Looks like a female. Yeah, it's a female. Or I'm 95% sure just by the, the coloration on her head. Are you thinking about taking off? Yep! Oh, I didn't want to disturb you. Wow, look at those spots. Confirm that it's a female. Yep. Kissing at me a little bit. Beautiful. In fact, this is one of the more beautiful spotted turtles I've ever seen. Very nice. I'll let you go. Back on your little mat, I know you're just going to crawl into the water. I think I hear one crawling through these blueberry bushes. I saw a couple of the branches moving. 
Yes, there's one. There's two. I need to put this down. So this was the reward for nearly destroying my external mic. A pair of spotted turtles. And this is a great example comparing males and females. Males have a concave plaster on the bottom of their shells and thicker tails than the females. And females are usually more vibrant, especially noticeable with their bright orange irises. Speaking of females, after mating in the spring, they will travel over land in early summer to excavate a shallow nest in sandy soil and deposit three to four eggs. If the clutch survives predation, and most do not, eggs will hatch out in late summer or early autumn. There's one. A male, concave plastron. Hey, buddy. Let you go. At one point, along the shore of the vernal pool, I found this northern black racer likely patrolling the edges of the water searching for prey such as amphibians and other snakes. Although common in parts of southern New England, they are rare in northern Massachusetts. Racers are usually quite defensive when they feel threatened, but this male was truly the exception, not musking or attempting to bite once while being handled. Nonetheless, it was eager to get away from me once released. Back in the vernal pool, I was fortunate to find this male spotted cruising along in an open section of water. I got another turtle, another spotted. What the? Oh my God, it's a Blandings. Oh my God, it's a juvenile Blandings. I'm not allowed to, these are threatened in Massachusetts, so I'm not allowed to handle one without a permit. Uh, thankfully, it's in shallow water and I can observe it. This is, wow, this is incredible. So, during the introduction, I was going to mention that my ultimate goal was to find a Blandings or two in this vernal pool, but I didn't want to jinx myself. At first, I thought it was a spotted turtle. So this is a juvenile about the size of an adult spotted turtle, and I saw the spots, which is you know, a key distinction looking for spotted turtles, and, and juvenile Blandings turtles, where the spots are more, are more vibrant. Wow, th this really is, an, uh, uh, this is an incredible find. There she goes. Hopefully, if all goes as planned in the next few weeks, I'll be putting together a video on Blanding's turtles. So please, stay tuned. Well, that was a lot of fun, very successful. The Blanding's turtle was certainly the highlight. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, consider liking or subscribing. Thank you.